Let's go to the Setup menu, Users and Roles, Manage Users. I want to create this token for my admin, whose name is Alex Wolf. We'll go ahead and edit, and then from the Access sub tab, we need to assign Alex a role. Now, there are a number of different roles here. The, the ones that we want will either be full access, or depending on the Saligo product you've installed, there might be one that begins with the word Saligo, Saligo admin. Let's go ahead and add, now save. So now we've got the right role, we can go ahead and generate a token for Alex. Again from the setup menu, users and roles, access tokens, new. So now we're going to create a new access token for Alex to use. The application, because of our bundles that are already installed in your NetSuite account, will be listed here. Our user, that was Alex that we just configured. The role is full access. This is the one that she should be using for integration. And now we have the name of the token, which we could edit, but it's nice and descriptive. It's telling us for which app, which user, and which rights we've given that user. Let's go ahead and save. It's now going to show us a token ID in secret. Now, of course, these won't be good to anyone else, but these are actually secrets that should never be divulged to anybody else. What we need to do, though, is copy these into our Integrator I.O. connection for that NetSuite account. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the token ID, switch back to Integrator I.O. and start editing in here. We'll go ahead and switch over to token and it's going to ask for the token ID and it's going to ask for the token secret which I'll also paste in. Now here it already knew uh, about my account because of what I'd had at, uh, set up before otherwise you could manually enter your account ID from NetSuite uh, but I'm all set. If I go ahead and click test this should work just fine which it is go ahead and click save and we're done we've got a connection up and running that's now using token-based authentication and integration should now continue to run quite smoothly